Despite the sheer resilience over the past two or three weeks, we really can't get bullish this stock. And the ideal situation is to see one final probe to the downside to complete the much larger corrective move. So if we just take the wave count from the high of wave B, remember wave C, ideally should unfold as a five wave movement. So down to the wave one, bounce into two. This very strong, almost parabolic move down into wave three. Now if we just take a close look here, we can see this little symmetrical triangle, this micro triangle. Now in an ideal world, I would have liked to have seen price break to the downside from there, then take us to lower levels, maybe even this 61.8% retracement level down here around the 350 region, and then looks for some good buying demand at those lower levels. That would have been the ideal situation. As you can see, that has not been the way forward. Price has broken to the upside, albeit in a corrective movement. So if we do break up through this prior pivot high here, then it could well be that we are going to take a more elongated route and even retest this 550 region, this line of resistance, and then get another probe to the downside from there. That's definitely a possibility. So that's our line in the sand just around this $5 region. The more ideal situation from an Elliott Wave point of view is to break down immediately. So that would mean that the smaller degree wave 4 is in position here. So looking for a break down through this prior pivot low. This was Wednesday's low where we did see a few buyers. So if we can get down through there, sellers again will be in control then no reason why we can't get that final decline within wave 5 and in turn completing the larger degree wave C like I say somewhere in this typical retracement zone probably the lower boundary of that and that could theoretically complete the whole corrective move and that would be a cracking buying opportunity a little bit later down the track so just be a little cautious here if you are looking for a swing trade to the upside yes you could look for a break above this prior pivot high as an entry point but just be cognizant of the fact that this line of resistance circa 550 is likely to stifle any attempts at a rally. On the other side of the coin, a breakdown through this prior pivot low would be reason to short the stock and with a view to trading it back down at least beneath this $4 region, ideally toward this 61.8% retracement level a little bit further down. Mm -hmm.